Cold for us. Aren't you cold? No, 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 I'm Irish. We don't feel cold. <laughs> We've been drinking all the way here. <laughs> Very warm. Uh -huh. It's unfortunate that you're going to get all of the, uh, the drunken Irish football supporters here. <laughs> And you're very welcome to them. <laughs> if you keep them maybe for a year or two and then send them back. <laughs> They'll get lost. It'll take them a year to sober up once they get, once once we do once we're knocked out of the, of the championships. Will you be selling Polish uh, representation t-shirts on your fl uh, flights? What's a Polish representation t-shirt? Well, like, uh, you know, Polish team, Polish no. football team. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 it looks too much like Man United. <laughs> I, I'm a Man City supporter, so I'm not, red is not my favorite color. Right. I prefer the Polish away strip, the white's much better. Anything except red. Okay, Dzień uh, dobry, Pani i Panowie, Witamy w Rotrawiu. <laughs> okay, the rest of this in English because that's the end of my very bad Polish. Anybody got any questions? No? Okay, good luck. <laughs> I've been told I have to mention a thousand jobs. <laughs> Lots of Polish crew. There you go, mentioned. Yes, sir. We don't know, you know, when eventually you can persuade the regulators, you know, to make a decision, but, it, you know, it usually takes... 5,000 years to persuade a regulator to make a decision because you become a regulator uh, you know if you're a stupid bureaucrat and if you're a very stupid bureaucrat you become a super regulator and if you're a complete idiot then you get promoted to be the biggest regulator in Europe so generally the biggest fools are the regulators which is why they keep introducing stupid rules that make it more expensive for people to fly all over Europe I mean, it's a bit like security we were having a debate on the bus you know People are confiscating lipstick now because this is a weapon of mass destruction. Now, lipstick has been a weapon of man's destruction, true, for <laughs> many years, but it's never yet been known to be a weapon of mass destruction. It's like, I still believe flying should be free. We should be able to get to say to people, you know, the flights, uh, you can fly anywhere in Europe on Ryanair for free, and the airports should pay us to bring all the people to their terminal, because the people spend money at the airports, in the car parking, the shops, the restaurants, everything else. But the airports have this strange idea that, you know, they should make all the money here at the airport, and then the airline should pay them something as well to bring all these customers to what is effectively their shopping centre. But that's the way airports are. That's why the airports are rich and the airlines are poor. <laughs> you know, people are bored on board on an aircraft. I think there would be very large revenues to be generated for us and also for the phone companies. So it's just internet access? Yeah, it's just internet access. And then, of course, I was there, you know, and the, so the Sun asked, well, what could people access on, their, on the internet? So whatever they access normally on the internet, news, sports, gambling, pornography, and so, oh, the, will there be porn on Ryanair airplanes? So, well, there's porn on your iPad, They'll, you can watch porn on a Ryanair airplane. Okay. And then they say, what about the children? I said, if children have porn on their iPads, they can watch that too. We're not that fussy. <laughs> and then it started off. I landed in America about a day later on the results. Of Ryanair to launch pornography on board aircraft, which was extraordinary because the following day, bookings on the Ryanair, or uh, uh, clicks on the Ryanair website, <laughs> trebled <laughs> on the basis that there was going to be pornography on the Ryanair website. <laughs> uh -huh.